You know, we all need a good belly laugh, especially lately, but sometimes the lame comedies on the tube just don't cut it. You need some real comedy. Well, get ready to hop in the car this weekend and head to the latest drive up comedy show. Funny guys, Chris Espinosa and Matt Reif join us. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How's it going, man? Good, good. Are you done with that banana that we were uh, eating in the uh, the pre-show here, the pre-show warm-up? Did you wolf that thing down? Yeah, I don't yeah. know if uh, the audience at home just saw the whole commercial for bananas, but I'm waiting on that, <laughs> that product placement check whenever y'all are ready. Your check is in the mail from the, the Banana Corporation of America. Uh, Chris, uh, you were uh, chowing down on a watermelon earlier. What happened to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I scrubbed it down pretty quick, man. I didn't think it would be appropriate if I just said that. No, 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 no. We want to hear what you got to say here. Uh, no, Chris, this is your third show. Can't believe it's been three shows already. And in Saturday's show, by the way, at Kit Carson Park in Escondido, how have these shows been going? You guys been having fun with us? Uh, it's ex it's been exciting, man. It's definitely a new venture, uh, and it's actually exceeded my expectation. Every show gets better and better. Uh, the audience reaction is, is superb. The the uh, the comics love it. Um, and yeah, we're the third one in, and it's just like I said, just keeps getting better and better. Matt, your first socially distanced show here. Uh, how are you preparing? Um, I'm just excited to go to a drive-in for the first time. Uh, I'm go. 24 years old, so I've kind of only heard stories. <laughs> All I really know about them is that thanks to our grandparents being degenerates, I know they played a big part as to why we're, why we're all here today. <laughs> so pretty I'm, I'm pretty excited. Oh, people actually pay attention to comedy and aren't just doing stuff in the car. Sure, yeah, yeah, they got to focus a little bit, right, Matt? Um, tell us just about your uh, what you've been doing in quarantine there besides eating bananas. Oh, uh, just catching up on a lot of good series on Netflix, Hulu, Brazzers. Uh, there's a lot of really good series out there. People should check them out. Uh, I've been putting on my own outdoor socially distanced show in Los Angeles. Oh, nice. So it's, it's been nice just to have some kind of normalcy anymore. I mean, I went from performing four, five, six times a week for the past nine years to sure. not at all. So I'm just happy to be in front of people or cars or like cars it. and their head yeah their headlights brighting you guys i know there the, wor the worst thing i'm really worried about is just a heckler like do i have to go unplug like <laughs> spark plugs like i don't really know how yeah. um, in depth i'm gonna have to go don't be slashing any tires right chris <laughs> yeah yeah please don't don't slash a tire man that that would be great <laughs> seriously you're uh, chris you were talking a little bit about the audience reaction i mean heckling is kind of a big part or reacting is a big part to what you guys do how, how are they doing that from the cars um, well, uh, to be 100% honest, uh, uh, the heckling is pretty minimum, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, like you can actually heckle in your car if you want. Nobody's sure. gonna hear you. Sure, <laughs> yeah, that might even be more honest heckling. Want... <laughs> <laughs> what? No, nah. but I mean the the reality is like, look, it, it, we've got this audience has always been positive. So when they're just, when a joke's going off, that that horn is going off, that light is flashing. Oh, there you um, go. I, I don't have I don't have a lot of issues with hecklers. So guys, look, I know comics a lot of times like to poke fun at the headlines. They do the topical bits. Do you guys co incorporate the whole pandemic, you know, the routine? I mean, look, I know on the face of it, it's no laughing matter, but our reaction to it, how society is changing. Does that provide any ma material for either of you guys? Chris, we'll start with you. Um, personally, uh, I, I'm staying away from it. Yeah. I it, like I feel like everybody is just like beating the subject, so I'm sure. just I'm just thinking to me, man. Some I'm exhaustion going on. Stuff and my weird stuff that I do. Um, that that's it. Matt, how about you? You staying away from it as well? Uh, absolutely not. No, <laughs> I, I believe a big part of comedy is pushing the boundaries of things that a lot of people are a little too sensitive to talk about. And seeing as though this is in, uh, a, a terrible historic moment sure. in, 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 at the very minimum of our lifetime. Um, so I feel like people kind of want to talk about it. You want to acknowledge what's going on in the world. And I, all I can really do is share my honest experience with it. There you I go. Mean, I, I've been lucky enough to not catch it. So uh, prayers up. Yeah. Um, but it's also, if you think about it, it's not even really the worst like virus you could you could get. I mean, I'd, I'd much rather get COVID than like HSV too. So, <laughs> other people need there to be able to talk be, about what they're scared yeah, of. Yeah, there might be a whole different debate on that. But guys, I know we can head to driveupcomedy.com to learn more. And you guys are going to be giving prizes away here at the event on Saturday. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Sure appreciate it. You're inviting everyone to come on down. Thanks no, for having right. us, man. Yeah. Thanks for having us, Eric. And yeah, like, like you said, we will, we'll be giving out uh, Topo Chico to the first 20 to 30 customers that nice. come up. So uh, come on down, get some fresh water, get some last. Chris, Matt, thank you. Now go back to your watermelon and your bananas. Appreciate your time here, gentlemen. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, brother. <laughs> thank you, brother. Stella, let's check in with you.